Uh, hello, uh, today we will be making a cake called Lala Loopsy and what it is, is uh, we using two boxes of butter cake, you can use any cake mix on your choice uh, and we using a rectangular tin which is uh, 23 by 33 centimeters, I will write everything in the description box, uh, like all my recipes I always do write um, recipe and how to decorate everything in the description box if you're interested to have a look so we bake our two uh, cake mixes according instruction on the box and now it's baked and cooled we level uh, top of our cake flip over on our cake board now we just simply outline pattern of uh, basically our uh, Lala Lopsy and uh, what we do trim it with a uh, sharp knife according uh, to your pattern once we trim it according to our pattern that's how our uh, shape of Lala Lopsy is uh, look like now uh, if your edges a little bit uh, uh, sort of uh, need to be sealed we using a uh, uh, deluxe strawberry frosting uh, I like because it's a beautiful color so what we do is uh, first of all we seal our edges once we are done that we apply a second coat of frosting um, because there might be a little bit uh, crumbly Once we finish applying all our uh, strawberry frosting, uh, we apply extra on top for locks of hair as well because we can form it after. So what we do is we're taking one box ready to roll uh, icing. You can use fondant as well and uh, it's with fondant it's easy to work but ready to roll icing tend to be have better taste but um, it's up to you which one you actually able to find it. Now, what you do is, I uh, need uh, on your uh, working surface, sprinkle with a powdered icing sugar. Once you are ready to roll icing uh, bigger in size than your cake, you just transfer it on top. And take a little bit powdered uh, icing sugar on your hands. Start working from top. Uh, see, we apply extra um, frosting for here that's we start form it now and we just uh, form few locks to just makes more look re realistic and in a better shape as well so here will be some ball as well here black one uh, so what we do once you're happy uh, with uh, uh, shape of your cave uh, trim it away all extras And um, here we are. Bring up a little bit uh, closer again. And uh, now we can trim it closer to uh, our cake. Once we trim away all excess, this is how our loops look like. As you can see, we have looks of uh, uh, here right here which is help us with better shape what we do is next for a uh, hair we're using liquid food coloring cochineal uh, cochineal uh, right here it's like a pink you can use rose pink liquid uh, food coloring as well um, and uh, for the little bow and uh, eyes we can use uh, black liquid food coloring or uh, black gel food uh, coloring as well it's up to you uh, for this uh, little chicks up here i probably would prefer to use a uh, pink i uh, just uh, add a little bit of uh, gel and mix a little bit with white gel food coloring to get beautiful color but from start take your two speak and outline uh this will be our bow and what we need basically we need to find uh here line 
and after that we have our face so this part goes here and our face goes right around uh, find your two eyes just to visible make sure you see it um, you can use anything even just to something like that to actually make it eyes um, round now what do we do we put it on plate white gel food coloring and tiny tiny bit of ivory gel food coloring uh, we mix together to create a skin color so after we happy with our color we start uh, uh, applying on all areas of face use a small brush because it's much much easier once we done our um, ivory uh, as you can see we left for eyes and for cheeks so next we use um, uh, liquid food coloring cochineal uh, and we apply for hair everywhere uh, as you can see color is very beautiful and what we do we apply everywhere for uh, hair except we not apply for the our black bone once we apply all our cochineal uh, Food color. This is what is how it looks like, our Lala Lupsi. Uh, so we left uh, for the bow, eyes and the cheeks and we draw our mouth after. If you like a uh, shadow, a little bit locks, use a uh, uh, deep pink or rose pink gel food coloring and apply with a little uh, stripe just like that uh, and uh, uh, smudge just right around and this will be out shadow uh, uh, a little bit locks now what we do I saw is uh, now we can use black liquid food coloring or black uh, hair top black gel food coloring and whatever you find it and use for ball and uh, the eyes as well as we make a little mouse I probably will use gel food coloring and uh, slowly start uh, outlining um, I use the um, brush you can use also uh, a toothpick as well you can uh, outline with a toothpick just like that and after you can fill up your um, outlining uh, pattern with liquid food coloring for just easy uh, to basically uh, see where is we actually going so let's go and uh, paint it our black uh, now we finish decorating our cake uh, Lala Lupsi and as you can see I draw mouth uh, I using a uh, uh, black um, uh, the uh, gel food coloring and, and a, a toothpick and I just do um, dipped in and just uh, draw mouth with the eyes uh, if uh, you like to make a little buttons use white gel food coloring it's sort of comes in a uh, yeah, white gel food coloring uh, it's a Wilton or Americola brand um, my is Wilton um, so just simply draw um, two lines resemble buttons and um, and, and for cheeks um, I just blend in a little bit of uh, rose um, uh, pink gel food coloring and white and as you can see this is very very light color that's what we got for uh, the cheeks from left and the right side it's a, it's a little bit still not set yet it's probably need another 20 to 30 minutes while color all will be set and will be nice that's um, basically how our Lala Lupsi is look like I hope you do like it and thank you very much for your time with me today uh, please do write your ideas uh, subscribe love to hear from you until next time goodbye